Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Today is May 4th, 2024. May the 4th be with you. And I thought I would make a video update of my garden at this point because I just got an alert on my phone and we're gonna have rain. And then I looked at the forecast and we're gonna have rain for quite a while. So everything looks so beautiful out here. I was preparing the yard and my plants and my greenhouses for the upcoming rain. And I thought, oh my goodness, it looks so beautiful. Let me just document this. And today is also a special day because it marks the day that my father-in-law transitioned from his body into spirit and we miss him very much. He was a great guy. He was so kind and generous and he really made you feel heard and listened to. He was, he was a good guy. So we remember him today as I give you a tour of my garden. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Nicole and I'm recovering from arachnoiditis and a, uh, a mental breakdown. And it hasn't been an easy journey, but gardening has been what has pulled me through and what ha is helping me to feel better and putting my life back together and putting the pieces, the pieces of my life back together and healing my body. And I have a lot of medicine and well, I've been sharing a lot of videos, so you can look back at my previous videos and all the different things that I've been doing along my journey. But I thought in this video, i would just share what's going on here. Like all the things that are growing, everything is growing really great. We've had a lot of warm weather and I'm not gonna name all these plants. I have so many plants, maybe some of them I'll name. Like this is new, this is, um, a gold raspberry and a red raspberry that we just planted this year. And then I have some other stuff growing in there. I'm very excited about this. I have these beautiful mullein plants here. So that's a good medicine for any kind of lung issues. And there's another mullein back there. And I'm really excited because the foxglove is getting ready to bloom, you can see. So I have all different color foxgloves back here. And when they're all in bloom, it looks amazing. Now I haven't even finished with this section yet, really cleaning it out. Um, this is, this area right here is my last area to clean out and um, do side dressings. Um, but everything else I think is done. Like this bed, I have a lot of stuff coming up here. You can see cat mint right there, makes great tea. Valerian is getting ready to bloom. You can see the flowers here. Can you, or is it gonna, there we go, it's too fuzzy. But those flowers will be um, light pink and they smell like vanilla, so they, they smell beautiful. And they're all getting ready to bloom. You can see over here in the new bed I just finished this year all around there for things that like the shade back there that's that's my shade bed so I have like a lot of lettuces and stuff and there's the foxglove that's gonna bloom soon and this is all just extra greens because I have greens in here as well I have cucumbers in the middle can you tell I like greens, like the more greens. And then I also have tomatoes here. And these tomatoes all survived the frost that came through a few weeks ago. And I've got broccoli back there. There's broccoli over there, there's turnips. And in between the tomatoes, because tomatoes will take a while to grow, I have lettuces. And these already, this Mizuna mustard is already starting to flower because it's been so warm. So these most likely will flower very soon. Some of the spinach that I have up there is also starting to go to flower because it has, like we had 90 degree weather already in April and now it's the beginning of May. And um, now the weather seems to be a little more normal. We've got yarrow right here. That's gonna bloom very soon. It starts off looking like this and then come on focus and then they will turn beautiful yellow and right here I'm very excited about this I'm actually gonna pick these before it rains that's that's calendula 
and I dry them and use them for tea and for my skincare products. And this is bee balm. It's gonna keep getting taller and taller until it finally blooms. I haven't finished cleaning out this bed yet, but a lot of the, the perennials are coming back. So like rue, that's all filling in nice. St. John's wort. We've got comfrey right there. Sage, echinacea. So let's walk over here. Now this is new, let me show you this. We are gonna put grapes here in the middle. And uh, so then when you're walking on the path, you're gonna come here. Now those are just my hanging baskets. I have peas in there. And so then you come here. These are uh, some cucumbers and squash that's waiting to go onto that trellis. So I was gonna work on that, but with the rain coming, that's gonna be delayed. So I gotta figure out what to do with that. I'll probably put that back with the rest of the plants in waiting. And let's, let me go show you those. These are all my plants that are extra, that are waiting to go somewhere in the yard. However, well, I do have that bed still to fill. I'll show you that, but um, I have a lot of plants. So whatever I have extra, I'm probably gonna give away. So if anybody wants a plant, maybe I'll sell them to my neighbors for a couple extra bucks. We'll see. I do have a lot, I have, I have everything because I've, I grew a lot over the winter and I'm taking care of them by potting them up. I just potted up this group and I have some basil, I have spinach, parsley, eggplant. I still have lettuces back there. I've got milk thistle, celery. I've got so much stuff. There's my tomatoes. I potted them up. So there's some in bigger pots and then there's still some in, in smaller pots. So they're all in different stages. I've watched them pretty much every day. And if I feel like it, they're, they need to be potted up, like my next pot up group is, I think it's over here, my next pot up group. So I try to keep them organized and uh, I maintain them because I don't want them to get root bound. I want them to continue their growth. So I watch them and when they're ready, and I still even have some in containers that I grew over the winter that need to be potted up so they're gonna be next as soon as I can get out here again after the rain so let's see we'll go this way because everything over here and I started out with this area in I guess in February and I wanted it to be you know completely done and and growing as I continue the rest of the area so everything here is growing amazing there's hollyhock peonies we've got snow in summer there starting to bloom thyme i've been harvesting that for a while our rose is coming back here and then we'll go here we got blueberries galore look at all these blueberries and we got all this grow we got broccoli i just put celery there because one of the broccoli plants died and i didn't have another broccoli so now we got celery there and then in between here, I got all radishes. Over here, this is Feverfew. And I put that there last year. That was kind of a mistake. I shouldn't have done that because these beds are meant for other things. Like I have these all planned out. Um, Cause I know Fever, well, you know what? I don't think I knew that Feverfew was gonna come back like that. Like it, it has quadrupled in size and it's still getting bigger. Like every day it gets bigger. So I might have to move it at the end of the growing season for that. So this is, I just started here. I got all beans in here and I got a combination of seeds and plants that I grew over the winter. So you can see all my beans there. And then I've got shard here. That shard uh, survived the winter. And then I've got new shard around there. And then all my stuff coming back. Look at this golden thyme, isn't that? Or no, I'm sorry, golden oregano, it's beautiful. And the strawberries, look at that. We, oh my God, we're gonna have so many strawberries. I'm so excited. I got so many recipes. There's another peony back there getting ready to bloom. Asparagus, I've been eating that like crazy. All the stuff that the rabbit didn't get. I still have to get a solution for that rabbit. My method, my first method didn't work and I didn't try again because then I realized, oh, these are all, these are all blueberries and that's fennel. And this is an elderberry, 
bush. This is its second year, so we haven't gotten any elderberries yet, so hopefully this year we will. And this is over here. We've got blackberries. Look, they're almost, almost ready. And I still have to finish this side, but we've got carrot coming back from last year. And I think that's called lady's thumb. That came back, that seeded itself there and I just left it there. But I do have to clean out that side still and I've got beans that are gonna grow up in there. And then we got our heart garden. Oh, but first we got peas right here, getting bigger and bigger. And then on this side, we've got beans. And then over here, we got garlic. And we've got some strawberries in baskets. And then this is lemon balm. And I, I have lemon balm like this. And I have it over here, you'll notice. And then I have it, oh, what did I just do? Hope I didn't mess up this video. Um, and then I have lemon balm in the ground over there. And I use that for a pest deterrent, like, cause bugs and stuff don't like lemon balm. And I have lemon balm everywhere, um, you'll notice. And oregano, a lot of these, um, herbs that have strong fragrances the bugs don't really like and here's the middle now This is the the bed that I started out in because it has a hoop house that goes over it and look at the broccoli So excited for all this broccoli and of course the leaves are also edible So actually I'm gonna make a juice out of the leaves when we harvest But look at this we've been eating these greens for a while making salads every day so yummy and we got another fever few over here and there's bleeding heart now this is this did look really gorgeous but it's at the end the end of its growing season and then I still have to do this area this is gonna be where the watermelon goes we got another well I think I already showed this trellis so that's I think that's pretty much it that is a tour of the whole yard and I hope this inspires you to look into gardening as a way to restore your mind, your body, your emotions, whatever it is that you're going through. Gardening is um, ecotherapy and I highly recommend it, highly recommend it and look what you can do. So I hope this finds you well until the next video. See you later.